A cancer diagnosis is a stressful time for patients and families. You'll have to make several important decisions before your treatment can begin. Cancer treatment is designed to target and destroy rapidly growing cells. It works well for killing cancer cells. Unfortunately, it can also kill other cells that are growing quickly, which includes the cells that make sperm. You can save your healthy sperm through a process called sperm banking. Sperm banking is a procedure that saves some of your sperm before you are exposed to chemotherapy or radiation. Your sperm sample is frozen and stored in containers through the cryopreservation process and will remain frozen until you are ready to use it. This can be many years later. Sperm banking can be a big decision, and although you might not be thinking about having children now, choosing to sperm bank puts you in control of your future and doesn't let cancer or chemotherapy make the choice for you. For sperm banking to be successful, the sperm must be healthy enough to be preserved. This means the decision to sperm bank must take place before your cancer treatment begins. Sperm collection takes place through a process of self-stimulation and release called masturbation. The patient ejaculates into a container and submits the specimen for analysis. To guarantee there are enough healthy sperm to freeze, patients should wait between 48 to 72 hours after a previous ejaculation. Avoid using additional lubricants or lotions that might have chemicals that could mix with the sample. The Fertility Preservation Team and the staff at Cincinnati Children's will take all necessary measures to make sure you feel comfortable and confident with your decision to sperm bank. Depending on how soon your first cancer treatment starts, and if you are healthy enough to leave the hospital, you may have the option to collect a sperm sample at an approved nearby hospital or lab, or in the privacy of your own home. If your team recommends staying in the hospital until your first cancer treatment begins, then you will be able to collect the sperm sample in a private room in a secluded part of the hospital. Once you have a sample, there is a window of about an hour before the sperm needs to be frozen. Within that hour, the sample needs to be delivered to the right facility and analyzed to make sure there are enough healthy sperm to freeze. If the sperm count from the sample is low, you may be asked if you would like to try again for a better specimen. If cancer treatment needs to begin, then any available sample can be frozen. It's important to know that the sperm banking process has some upfront costs to families, so keep that in mind when deciding whether to sperm bank. Your fertility preservation team can provide more information on this cost so that you know what to expect. Sperm banking can be an awkward and confusing process, but it's important to plan for life after cancer, and there are people who can help make the process more comfortable. Don't be afraid to reach out to any member of your Cincinnati Children's Fertility Preservation Team with any questions.